हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरांदे फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल टीच इजी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द टाइप्स ऑफ बोल्टेड जॉइंट एंड द फेल्यूर ऑफ बोल्टेड जॉइंट लेट अस फर्स्ट सी द टाइप्स ऑफ बोल्टेड जॉइंट द फर्स्ट टाइप इज लैब जॉइंट इन लैब जॉइंट the two plates which are to be connected overlap each other okay so this is known as lab joint you can see here that these are the two plates which are connected by lab joint this is a thicker plate this is thinner plate and this common portion is known as overlap or lab according to is 800 this minimum overlap shall not be less than 4 times t or 40 mm whichever is less what is t you can very easily see t is the thickness of the thinner plate to be connected now when the lab joint is used the bolts are subjected to shear it is very clear that in this case this bolt will be subjected to single shear because the shearing will take place along one cross section only single shear now let us see the second type of joint that is butt joint in butt joint the two plates to be connected but against each other and the cover plates are used over them so these two plates are connected by butt joint and this is the cover plate these are the bolts as only one cover plate is used this is known as single cover butt joint here one cover plate above the plates and one cover plate below the plates therefore two cover plates are used so this is known as double cover butt joint this is known as single cover butt joint now in single cover butt joint the bolts are subjected to single shear only whereas in case of the double cover butt joint they will be subjected to double shear shearing will play, take place along two cross sections okay do you understand so broadly speaking lab joint and butt joints are two types of bolted joints which are commonly used now let us see how do these join fail that is failure of bolted joints okay now bolted joint or bolted correction can fail due to failure of bolt or failure of plate either plate will fail or bolt will fail now as far as failure of bolted joints are concerned the first mode is shearing mode the failure will be due to shearing now in this shearing mode there may be shearing of bolts or tearing of plate now look here in case of lab joint the bolt will be in single shear so this is the plane along which shear is taking place you can see this here there are two shear planes in case of single cover butt joint or lab joint the bolt will be in single shear this is known as single shear failure here in case of double cover butt joint the bolt may fail due to shearing at two cross section that is double shear now what is tearing of plate or shearing of plate you can say if sufficient age distance is not provided when the tension will be there this plate will tear off at the edge therefore 
this type of failure can be avoided by providing proper age distance or end distance okay so this is the first mode of failure that is sharing mode now second mode is tensile failure mode now in this tensile failure mode the bolt may fail due to tension or the plate may fail due to tension at critical section so this shows tensile failure of the bolt so generally in these types of joints bolt is not subjected to tension whenever there is a hanger connection in that case this bolt may be subjected to tensile force okay so it may fail by tension now in such cases when two plates are connected it is possible that failure of plate may take place at critical section which is passing through the bolt holes so this is tearing or tension failure of the plate at critical section because at this section holes were made for bolts so the section will be critical the third type of failure mode is bearing failure mode okay now consider the case two plates are connected and tension is applied so this is the bolt hole and this is the bolt so when tension is applied it is possible that that particular plate may bear on the bolt like this so this is bearing of plate on the bolt and this is bearing of bolt on the plate okay due to that it may fail like this okay so the failure of bolted joint can be due to failure of bolts or due to failure of plates failure of bolt can take place due to shearing due to bearing and due to tension and failure of plates can take place due to shearing due to tension at critical section and due to bearing do you understand this in the next lecture we will see some important terms and specifications for bolted joint thank you